Do you know that Jesus says, "Be holy for I am holy?" Je, mwajua hiyo kwamba Yesu alisema ya kwamba iweni watakatifu kwa sababu mimi ni mtakatifu? Because he's no he knows we are his kind. Kwa sababu anajua ya kwamba sisi ni wake. We are his. Sisi ni watoto wake. We don't belong here then. Sisi sio wa hapa. That our citizenship is in heaven. Ya kwamba uraia wetu uko mbinguni. So when John is taken up in that effect that simulates the rapture. Hivyo basi wakati Yohana anaponyakuliwa juu katika tukio hilo linalofanana na unyakuzi. Look at this now. Tazama hili sasa. It's amazing. Yeshangaza. Because in the process then. Ya kwamba kwa sababu katika hiyo hatua We that represent Jesus on the earth here now. Sisi the church. Sisi ambao tunawakilisha Kristo katika ulimwengu hapa kanisa. You are the representative of Jesus. You, you are the image of the Christ. You are, you are his image and likeness. Wewe ni mwakilishi wa Yesu. Wewe ndiwe sura yake na umbo lake. In other words. Kwa maneno mengine If the rapture is near. Iwapo unyakuzi umekaribia. Out of the signs you are seeing in your news. Kutokana na ishara ambazo mnaona katika habari zenu. Then you should be growing or getting closer to the fullness of the height of Christ. Hivyo basi ni lazima uwe unakomaa kufikia kile kimo cha Kristo. That Ephesians chapter 4. Hiyo ni Waefeso sura ya 4. That scripture. Andiko hilo of to grow the church to mature the church to reach the full stature of the Christ is a spiritual stature lile tukio lile tukio andiko la kulikomaza kanisa kulikuza kanisa ni kimo cha kiroho because he said kwa sababu anasema i am the light of the world mimi ni nuru ya dunia and then he came back and said na kisha karudi na kusema you are the light of the world ninyi ndio nuru ya dunia and then he goes away and he leaves you to do his ministry to advance his ministry na kisha naenda na kuacha mkaendeleze huduma yake. Then he says, you are Christ ambassadors here on the earth. Na akasema ya kwamba ninyi ni mabalozi wa Kristo hapa duniani. You are the ones supposed to be reaching out on behalf of Christ, bringing the ministry of reconciliation to the to the earth. When they see these things happen, then you approach them to let me explain to you this. The Messiah is coming. Ninyi ndio ambao mapaswa kuwa mnaenda nje na kuwafikia watu mkileta ule ujumbe wa upatanisho kwa dunia ili kwamba mpate kuambia kwamba wakati mnapoona haya yakitendeka basi mahitaji kujua kwamba masia anakuja That is how it's supposed to be you represent him Hiyo inamaanisha kwamba ninyi mnamwakilisha And if you are ambassadors of Christ as the Bible says Na ikiwa ninyi ni mabalozi wa Kristo jinsi ambavyo Biblia inasema I want to ask you a question Nataka kuwauliza Do you know what you ought to look like now the hour when you're supposed to be going back Je, mnajua jinsi ambavyo mapaswa kufanana wakati ambapo wakati wa kurudi unapowadia? John was representing Christ here. Yohana alikuwa anamwakilisha Kristo hapa. You are representing Christ here. Wewe unamwakilisha Kristo hapa. And John is saying a time comes when rapture must take place. You must now go back home. Na Yohana anasema kwamba wakati unafika ambapo ni lazima unyakuzi utendeke, lazima urudi nyumbani. In other words, John was recalled the way you see sometimes an ambassador will be recalled home jinsi ambavyo mnaona wakati mwingine balozi anaweza kuitwa nyumbani if you are the represent the light of christ the representatives of christ here iwapo ninyi ni nuru ya kristo wawakilishi wa kristo hapa then by now basi kufikia sasa you should be walking with the honor that is due that office as you represent that high kingdom Mwapaswa kuwa mnatembea na ile heshima inayostahili hiyo ofisi heshima ambayo inawakilisha ufalme huo If that kingdom is a kingdom of righteousness and holiness if those are the virtues of that kingdom Na ufalme huo ni ufalme wa uhaki na utakatifu huo ndio udhamana hizo ndizo sifa za ufalme huo Then you too that should be your position because as an, as an ambassador you represent that position the position of your home country in this foreign land where we are sojourners hivyo basi ninyi pia mapaswa you have to represent their position that is your marching statement that's your commissioning statement you have to present the position of the government you represent we represent the government of jehovah hivyo basi ninyi pia ni lazima muwakilishe kama mabalozi muwakilishe mahali mnakotoka nyumbani kwenu ambako ni mbinguni tunamwakilisha Yehova ufalme wa Yehova hapa nyumbani sisi ni wageni